Welcome to part three. As you can see, I've increased. Oh God, I really increased that factory. I didn't think it was that big, but we've increased the factory. Um, I'm not even sure how to really get all this started because we're only going to need that for a tiny little bit. So the idea is we got this coming in. This is going to be our exit. So I need to like essentially link this up. This guy here. Link this guy up to that up here. I'm going to have to make room for this. I've deleted the power for now because I need to make room for this new monstrosity that we're going to build. All right, so I think. Hmm. Hmm. Well, either way, I know that I need to bring another resource in. I want to bring inputs up here. No particular reason. It's just trying to keep this all evened out in my head on where everything is. It just got really cold in my office. I think... I think I might be able to make this look like I know what I'm doing. Maybe. So yeah, we gotta completely rebuild the refinery itself. Fortunately. <laughs> or fortunately, I guess, depending on how you look at this. And honestly, it'd be a lot easier if we weren't doing it this particular way. I think we're just going to have to lose all this. I know. No. All that work for nothing. I'll kick myself in the butt later, I'm sure, because I'll probably like, damn, there was a way I could use that. There is actually a way I could use this. And I'm deleting more stuff than I really want to delete. But we just can't be bothered. So, okay, both my inputs are coming in, my output is going to come out, my uh, secondary supply line is reconnected, I'm just going to have a small amount of research going on down here. And then the rest of it is going to be supplied up there for sale. So the way we're going to connect this is we're going to use blue for coal. No, we're not. Dang. This is going to be rather difficult to do the refinery setup like this. Yep. This is not how we should be doing this. What are we going to do? After much Mountain Dew and thinking about this in the most unlogical manner possible, I've discovered what I'm going to do. 
Okay. Yes. So, coal ore. Comes in this line here, it feeds this guy, and it feeds this line up to here. Alright. Iron. Or whatever. Comes in, feeds this one. Fills that line up here. So what I did is I just put a ramp inside the building. And took them on out. Save in space. With that said, we're going to run two refineries in here. Somehow. And a factory. Now, I see a lot of problems with this. <laughs> space being the biggest one of them all. But at this point, I mean, the cards have been dealt. So, if I don't do it, then I have to admit defeat. I refuse. So let's see if we can fit this in here. Now my normal rule of thumb is not to go over four simply because it takes forever for anything to refine. I don't know that we're going to have that luxury. Unless I can figure out some other way. Huh. Huh. For those of you who cannot see me, which is all of you, I am stroking my beard. I have a stupid idea. So stupid it might just be genius. Or it could just be... This is quickly turning out to be a monstrosity. However, <laughs> I think we're actually pretty close to making this work. Strangely. So this set of refineries on the right, them, refinery on the left should feed these guys once we get this all set up so we need a picker upper there is that now we need some uh, downers just do it like this for her. Okay. Now we gotta figure out our grabbers. First I'm gonna put in the grabbers that don't have to be programmed. Technically I should put the uh Ones that do need to be programmed in first. This is going to get. All right. Crap. I got so excited and putting in them stupid barrels that I forgot that I still need to put boxes in here. I'll just delete every other one for now. Okay, back to the grabbers. Still going to stick them in and program them here in a minute. I don't know if this is going to be all that efficient or not. It does kind of look cool. I also don't know how the uh, conveyor belts run without electricity. 
Okay, so we got six. All right. One of them is going to be a skip zero, so we have five to skip. That's what we're going to start with. Figure out which way this is coming in. Which is coming in there. So this guy here, because he's the first one, he's got to skip five. Four. Three. And then they come down and turn around again. So, that easy. With this really crazy setup. These are going in different directions, so are right here. In case you're curious, I think this building is 16 by as big as you can go. Wow, I gotta rebuy all the stupid drones too. Alright, so now let's get some boxes on. Well, let's get some power first. Let's just begin this time. I think that's all we actually need. Are they got power? Plug it. Applesauce. All right, so let's get some boxes in this crazy monstrosity. Is everything paused? No. Oh. Pause the game because this. Uh, yeah. There. One there. One there. One there. Kind of put them out here on purpose because. I don't know. I think it's going to be easier to judge when we need to shut them off. Unfortunately, we can still only do like 30 crates ish. So, I guess we'll know. And we should be able to take as many as we can feed. So, we're just going to let it feed for a little bit. Then we'll get the trains hooked up and running and start getting some actual product in there refining before we worry too much about putting the uh, the combiners is what they call them. I call them factories, but whatever, you know, whatever you want to call them, little doodads before we get those in there. That's when the little colored thing the jiggies are going to come and play the, the orange, green, and blue. Finally, right? So I'm gonna let this fill up, and I'll see you in a minute. Well, curiously, I didn't even have to watch it. I literally just set boxes in and let them go until they're completely maxed out that setup holds 30 crates perfectly per group so you can run max crates and not have to worry about any kind of hold up other than waiting for it to course refine and get down there now as you can see I got my blue set that's gonna be for our coal section all this is gonna get refined to coal and come down through here and it's gonna be blue 
gonna be black, but we're gonna call it blue. And then our iron is all gonna be set to green. Now the reason why that is important, which most of you already know, is because of the factory setup. Or whatever you want to call it. I call it a factory. They call it a combiner. I like factory better. So we have a crazy material line there. And I seriously thought about putting a whole nother line in there. <coughs> no, I'm so sorry. Just for the uh, aesthetic, I guess, whatever. But I think we're going to end up in a line. I don't know. We'll just do this. And he's going to fill up there. Just because, I don't know, the button for punishment, I guess. Not gonna fit anyways. Oh my goodness, it will fit. That is what we're going to do, I guess. For no particular reason, then I can. Actually, I don't know if I can or not. I'm about to find out. I'm pretty sure I can only put one of these as orange. This could be a complete colossal waste of time. A colossal waste of time? So, if I set you to orange, I set you to orange? No, I cannot. Hmm. So about that. Well, we're not going to admit that that failed. We're just going to ignore it all together. Delete all this. And we're going to just put another line in. Not really sure how we're going to... Oh, we could do this. Put a large bat right there. And make him the orange one. Yes, that's what we're going to do. And he's going to have all these little friends. Happy little friends. No other reason than we can. Now you're probably wondering. Well, that's cool. But how do you get it out of there onto the train? Like that. All right. So, cool thing is, we can save ourselves a little bit of trouble here and feed some combiners right off of these. Yeah. Are we going to? No. All right. So, because we want to squeeze as much crap in here as we possibly can. So we're going to start with the green. Come in here. Put one of these in. Grab this guy. And that guy. And that guy. And that guy. So, green comes in, blue comes in, gold goes out. Bowl comes in, iron comes in, combined steel plates come out. As you can see, if you alternate the spacing, you can fit a ton of those in, like just gobs of them in here. Right now, we're just going to stick with eight we got, or how many, two, eight, eight, yeah, we're just going to stick with those for now. 
because honestly, we're not going to be able to keep up with it. It's going to produce perfect amount eventually whenever we get some actual resources in here. I guess I need to make sure that this is actually... Yep, we got coal go Oh, oh, what? oh yeah, that's right. It looks so close together. We got iron. And we got coal. Eventually, actually, we probably won't see anything in these bats for a while because these guys here will just grab it and go for a while. Alright, got some refinery. Right, look at that refined stuff coming down. That's good. I can't believe this monstrosity is actually working. But we don't know for sure yet. We don't see anything because these guys are taking it all. They're not even activated yet. That one is. That one is going. Yeah, buddy. Look at there, steel plates. These guys will seriously produce a ton of steel plates. You know, there's just eight of them. They will just take over. So you could theoretically build your refineries bigger and maybe do like another row like that. You know, and have nine instead of six. Skip eight. But. At some point, you will see your supply fill up. It's going to take a while, but it will fill up. You just have to fill up all these. Ones. And seeing as how we're not selling any of them, since we're not worried about money, um, I'm going to let it build up for a while. This is also one of the reasons why I only went with eight of these guys. See, these aren't. This one's not active. These aren't even activated yet, and it's still open them out that quick. The nice thing is, our next goal is steel plates. But we also need to refine some gold. Now I could bring in a gold refinery in here. It wouldn't do as much good though, because we only get three colors. So I wouldn't be able to combine the gold with any of them. Now what you combine coal with, you coal well you combine it with iron or coal. So I guess We could go ahead and bring some gold in here. And we can just manipulate these colors to produce whatever we want to produce down here. You know, gold always being the output. So if we want to make capacitors, we would just change the gold input or the gold refined output to blue. So then they'd be taking the iron and the gold producing capacitors and if we want to make gold oil well we'd make the gold input green so we'd be taking coal gold gold fuel gold oil whatever they call it look at that we're just flat out well that only says 16 that's 16 in each one of these though 
and these guys still aren't activated. Let's see, that's what I'm saying. You, you won't be able to keep up. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and then I'll see y'all in a little bit and see if uh, we're at full capacity yet or not. Gives me enough time to watch an episode of or whatever is out. So I've had a bit of a rethink here. I need research just to get that out of the way. So I need to research 300. That's why we have you know, those four set up. It'll take a little bit. But I wanted to show you this because everything is filled up now. Okay. So that's all well and good, right? What happens? If we start taking stuff out of there and feeding resource. Alright. Feed the research first and then come down there. Fill up the uh, whatever. Oh no, it's not because I miscalculated which track goes on. We'll reverse it. No problem. Every one of those factories are going now because all of our researches, yeah, resources are full. So. It doesn't have to wait for him no more. Fair enough, probably feel that. We'll do this a couple times, get these, uh, this filled up. I decided to go for complete overkill just because. I figured up this could have easily been a 16 by 16 building and you would have been good. I think it was 16. Pretty sure. Is this even picking me up? Yeah, it's picking me up. Early though. There we go.
all them wandering drones at. Good lord, where are they going? They have spread way out. That's intriguing. And we are once again producing. It's hilarious. Drones coming from all over the place. You have need for us? Let me get that book, that box for you, Saya. Wow, how far did you guys go? All right. We are in full production. Of steel plates, anyways. Extremely massive complex just to produce steel plates. It doesn't have to be that big at all. You would have done like a 20 by 10. You had done a smaller version of this and been just, just fine. However, no, that's not exactly what this whole thing is about. We're breaking the game. Eventually. Maybe. Probably not. No. It's going to take for us, we're going to take this forever to get anywhere near, you know, Whatever. Wow. Don't think we have to worry about resources for a while. So Seems how there's not a whole lot more to do. I think that's going to conclude this particular episode. As literally, we're just going to be playing the waiting game at this point. I want the 300. That's what I'm going for. For it's 11,000. Maybe a gold we go for as well. We're going to have to research some gold. So I think I'm going to do is build a very small gold refinery. Yeah, using these two guys over here. Build a small gold refinery just to research the gold. And I may make just big enough to bring in the iron as well. And we might do capacitors. Have a... Because we will have to research those as well. I know our profit's going to be looking terrible right now. The weight output is definitely looking
Well, there you have it. You got some graph paper, whatever, you pretty much draw that out. Like I said, it don't need to be anywhere near that big. I just did it because I was going for overkill. As much overkill as possible. With that said, guys, happy mining. You all take care. See you next time. I could just totally destroy the game with a zillion drones. Hmm. Zillion. Maximize efficiency. Use the newest technologies. I agree. We must maximize efficiency with the newest technologies. We must have more drones. All right. Finally, somebody agrees with me. All right. So let's see here. What we got going on? We got efficiency. <laughs> Oh man, yep. I think it's great. We don't have a zillion, but we do have 80 drones. They are kind of knocking it out. As you saw in the first part of this. Uh, yeah. I'm not even... Well, actually, I don't know if you're going to see the first part or not, because... I'm not really sure where I saved the first part now at this point. Well... You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are something. I never learned a song. I never really cared, Mr. Grinch. Give me more drums. Alright. So, I have no idea what I was doing or what I was supposed to be doing. Hmm. I think it's just a matter of grinding. Yup. In other news, I really like pizza. And potato salad. I don't know why. I need to be able to build another ah, stupid save. Aha! Iron, gold, capacitors. So I can build another one of those crazy refiners out there, and we can start refining both iron and gold and make fast tools. But we need to research gold as well. Refine gold. Hmm. What to do? Well... Yeah. We can do that. If we just research some gold. Hmm. A new goal. Can we reach 12,000 with the current setup? Probably not. Because this train here, he's feeding these guys. So I turn off the transfer tube. I don't know why I need that transfer tube. Maybe we can get productivity up and going. Mass efficiency.
via a zillion drones. Fail. Supposed to catch that flash. That was the worst catch in dog history ever. Now, uh, go bring me the mailman and the newspaper. I see that you're following my orders with great haste. After your nap? Okay. Oh, man. It is freezing in the office today, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it is cold out here. Pretty sure my little toesies are frozen together. And I really can't do nothing about that right now. Just can't be bothered. So, I'm not going to bore you with making you watch this. Whatever this is. Um, I'm going to try to knock this out. At least get the points I need for stage one. And we're almost there. And then I guess we'll move to stage two, which is depressing because. Well, you know what? I'm just going to build my research facility over here. The reason being is because I got gold, iron, and coal. So I can research almost everything I need, right? I can research, yeah, almost everything I need right there. So, let's get this cracking. I don't think we can make this factory any more efficient. This is ridiculous. No matter how much stuff that I pump out for research or to sell, I mean, I guess I could put a whole other train system in sell product these guys are kind of running out of stuff to do a lot because how long it takes to get the train out there and sure I could put claws in there and I could like take out like this these three vats here and put boxers in there and send the boxers over there to sell or whatever but then I would have to get rid of my drones then that's blasphemy. Can't do that. You don't fire your best workers. At least not until the railroad comes in. And then you ship them back to whatever countries they came from. I mean, that's that's what we did in history. So anyhow, don't do that. That's asinine and well. We don't want to be backstabbing. I can't get over how efficient this actually is, though. This is just ridiculous. The thing I like about it the most is we're not actually wasting any research, whereas if you have a boxer in the loop, okay, and you're creating the box, and then you have a kill down here, so, like, if it gets here, it has to kill the box. You know, so the loop keeps going. It's a complete waste because if these get full or whatever, the box can't bypass it and go back around. It gets killed at the end, so you just throw stuff away. Of course, our factory seems to be kind of working overdrive right now because we're using pretty much everything that we're producing. Well, not exactly. <laughs> wow. And wow. Not bad. Kind of ridiculous at this point. I could just get rid of this whole line pretty much.
Hmm. What could be interesting, though, is a stockpile warehouse somewhere. Or say, like, it boxes product. Well, it's to be better to ship it. Right, never mind. Would have been cool if that was gold instead of iron. I do, however, have oil and gold on. What to do, what to do. Well, I kept thinking about this, thinking about this, like, what can we do down here to make these work for us? Because we got oil right around the corner, too, so it's... This is like a research haven of just sitting over here. So we need another 16, <laughs> at least 16 by, uh, that depends really. That's the part I'm trying to figure out. If we do... We'll figure that out in a minute. Let's just get this first part started. So, you get a rig, you get a rig, you get a rig. And... You get standalone power. And... Right there. Now we'll take that. Eat it. Eat it. Take it. Okay, what's the point of this? I. I, uh. We'll get there eventually. I have no idea if I can actually link all this up or not. I want to try link the two groups together, but honestly, it doesn't look like it's going to work anyway. Always some kind of catch, 22. Didn't make it that easy. Wow. All right. There, that one's linked. This one's going to be more difficult than it needs to be as well. Start with the off ball, I guess. What am I missing? That 
That did us good. I'm not sure why I did that. Somebody's probably already got the answer, and I'm just too tired to think about it. They're like screaming at the monitor right now, like, What are you doing? I'm just like, oh, I'll just keep making a mess of this, and yeah. Because, you know, Epstein didn't kill himself. This method is not going to work. Why do you refuse to line up? No, you won't line up. <sighs> Finally, peace. Here we go again. This is a clear sign of overthinking. I mean, you just know it's not going to work, but. You refuse to admit defeat. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Thinking that somehow you're going to figure something out. Everybody's going to be like, oh my goodness, he figured it out. Oh no. Hold your applause. Alright, so. Now, what the heck was the point of this again? Uh. Oh, alright, whatever. I'll build a factory. And we'll make this one orange. And you're gonna be like, you know. Sure. That's good. Close enough for government work. So now, eventually, I'll be collecting that oil too. So this is where it's going to get. These guys in. Blah, 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 blah. And since I don't have oil yet. I always do that. 
drop another flat or straight. Then you can do that. Now you we're gonna skip two. You want to skip one. Eh? Ah. Efficiency. You know that one thing that that one guy talking about. Yeah. Efficiency. One train to rule them all. Alright, so moving on. We're gonna have an upload of a zillion teraflops. So that is going to control. I forgot. There was a reason why I was making this 16 bytes. Uh, fail. Fail, fail, fail. Get rid of it. Go away. Actually, I guess what I could do. It's going to be a waste for now. But, if I go ahead and put these on the correct skip now, hopefully I won't forget about it when I add the oil line. So we need a 16 wide building. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, ish, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's telling me my building has no doors. Holy crap. It's amazing. How smart it is. It's like, hey, Mr. Epinavi is here. You don't have a door. Or power. And that's like, holy crap, he has power. And no water. And I'm like, it's like Mexico, man. I don't trust the water here. Okay, so we need. Remember, right? I think it's like three. But this guy is what only accept gold ore. That's it. That's all he wants. Nothing else, nothing more, just gold ore. I gotta go check this building. So we need. Not hard to see with all this crap here. Yeah, it's basically three per. Give me hickey. Do the you would only accept I pull efficiency, huh? Huh? That's what that guy was talking about. Pretty sure. He's gonna watch this video and be like, holy crap, man. And I'm gonna be like, yes. You. You can only have coal. Oh. You know where I'm going with this? One train to rule all four. No! Oh, that's right. I forgot. I share this center line. Okay. So we'll do that. Yoink, yoink. 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 And. Yoink. Yoink. Let's skip the E do. Go. Yoink, let go. 
Actually, technically, you. You only collect fruit oil. Yes. Okie dokie. Now, uh, let's see if this monstrosity works. Oh, wrong way. Ah! There. Now, does 26 actually go into 4? No. So, 24 cars will do. Look at that. Look at the efficiency that we have created. Oh my god. Oh, look at it. It's wonderful. Except we have no oil. It doesn't matter. This is fantastic. This, this is magnificence. And my dog is both simultaneously snoring and truly. And he just disgusting. Such a foul creature. So there's no crew oil, so it won't unload. It's it's working. It is working. Look at it in all of its magnificence. Look at it! Fantastic, eh? Okay, so things how I cannot remember how I did this at all. I shall study this for a minute. Study, 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 study. Okay. Moving. Actually, I'm just joking. I have no idea what's going on here. Uh. What tragic is this that has led this guy astray and that guy astray? What are you guys doing? Oh, that's why. Get to work, scallywags. Ah, we be swish buckling now. Oh, so, oh yeah. Shoot, got it in. <laughs> it's so hard. I'm having to do math. All right, so yeah, okay. Still don't really know what I did. One thing is for sure: we need to drop ore. And I think that is accomplished by doing that. Right. So we're just going to have to figure this out for ourselves because I look at it and it makes my brain hurt. I believe it goes like this. Right. So that goes that way. And I'm not really sure why I had so many Flippity flops. Because that is the return line. That's the go line, so why can't I do it this way? Oh. Not still on. Yes, I do. Now I know why I had the crazy. Yep, there is a method to my madness. I have a pain in the butt sometimes. <sighs> so, anyways, that's a go. That's not a go. 
the way. That's a good. Then what happens? They'll come out here. They'll get transferred to this. Then they'll get transferred to that. Yes, okay. Then you will come down. And not 100 percent sure why I had all the crazy zigzag down there. Because we don't really need them. However. Yes. Okay. You. That way. And you can just party there. That look right? Not exactly. <gasps> I remember. So, they will come down here. That's for over. I don't need a shopping cart. I mean, a. Uh, oh, my thing. One of those. <laughs> shopping cart. Ah, Christmas. Got the brain all like boggled. And you shall pick up the lovely coconuts. Now, yes, that is how we do it, I think. Does not matter, because we have to feed this. Um, that's going to go there, there, and there. Oh. Now that part makes it. I knew there's a reason why there's an overhang. And why this. I had to do that. And that is why. Okay. Cool. Now we're cooking with gasoline. Not sure why you would do that, but it's a thing apparently. Okay, so it's coming in there, so this guy's gonna skip five. This guy's gonna skip four. You shall skip three. I come down here, so you shall skip two. You shall skip one, and you should just do your job. Okay. Now, actually, feeding this is going pretty easy. Might be the only easy part of this. Get to producing. We should even see some refined products come down. Okay. So, you, 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 you share the line. You. 
bow and Should have a picker up of there. Picker up of there. And a picker up of there. Seems to be working. Wait for this line to fill up and see what we got. Did I build this too? find that out now before I go to the next part. You shall drop, you shall drop, you shall drop, you shall drop. And we shall have the train coming this way. Just like the top. You shall skip four. You shall skip three. You shall skip two. Oh. Skip zero. Skip one. Skip two. Three. There. What is the point of this? Well. I guess you'll have to wait until the next episode to see. Until then, happy mind, y'all.